Your business, Jetco Solutions. Can you tell us a little bit about your business and what it does? Absolutely. Uh, Jetco Solutions was was founded just over 13 years ago. And uh, in a nutshell, we help other businesses sell to government. And so if somebody's looking to, to sell a product or service and they've uh, and they don't have the capability or uh, or the capacity then uh, we become an extension of their sales and marketing efforts and basically find opportunities uh, write proposals submit proposals and uh, and do business development on their on their behalf okay now in the early years uh, what did you do prior to founding jetco solutions so I guess in the early years, uh, when I was still in the service, I was uh, I was a paratrooper. So I I jumped out of uh, I jumped out of airplanes for a living, and uh, now that doesn't necessarily directly, I guess, tie into business other than uh, having the the courage to to jump out of a perfectly good airplane, and uh, having the the perseverance to pick yourself up after. A, uh, a relatively hard landing, uh, and uh, and go complete the mission. Once I uh, once I decided to get out of the service, I went to work for a, a big company uh, here in Kalamazoo, Michigan, a company called Stryker that was in medical devices. Okay. And I was there for four or five years, and then I went to a uh, um, to a small business uh, called Marshall Plastic Film, and they were uh, a plastic film extruder. Uh, family owned that uh, uh, supported basically the automotive industry. And so I, I guess I got my, my taste of being in a big business and a small business and both have their, their unique um, challenges and, uh, and, and rewards. And then in 2007, you know, the automotive industry here in Michigan got, got real soft. And, and so, I was one of the first folks that uh, that were let go with when when Marshall Plastic Film downsized uh, because of the uh, the automotive industry, and so I found myself, um, I guess, unemployed and uh, overemployed. I, I guess, in, but nobody was hiring here in Michigan, right. and right. Uh, so I was I was born and raised in Michigan. I when I got out of the service, I came back. And uh, so I, I basically would look for a job for about six months, and and then about uh, the uh, March time frame, I, I went to work for uh, on a contract basis for a for a business that uh, helped develop training instruction, and uh, that was short lived, and basically in around June. I said I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna go it by myself and I and I had I had created Jetco and back then it was Jetco packaging and and I was gonna sell things to the government and uh, and I was gonna give my my birthdays in March and so I basically had from June to to the next uh, next March was you know so I had nine months to um, get this thing up and and moving and uh so i went full time and uh I, I was fortunate that i had had uh had married a a uh a, a great lady and business partner who <clears throat> subscribed to dave ramsey and 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 so we had a little you know we had a six month or so nest egg where we could nice um we could you know try and make this work because uh, crazy enough, uh, uh, she had um, uh, was unemployed as well, <laughs> and so you know from about wow. November to March, we were you know and we were newlywed. So uh, in June we got married. Her father passed away in in August. Uh, we were both unemployed in November, and um, and you know she was working on some contract positions and. And so, you know, that first year of, of being together was, uh, you know, was, I guess, a series of very high ups and and uh, and downs. So um, 
June rolls around and, and I say, I'm going to do this full time. And, and, uh, you know, folks and, 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 uh, family are pretty skeptic, uh, skeptical of, uh, uh, you know, of this new business venture. And, and I had went and I briefed my business plan, uh, to the, to then it was the SBTDC, uh, David Sayers and, and, you know, I, I hate to admit, but they damn near made me cry. Um, <laughs> and, but he had, you know, some great points and, uh, and it wasn't, um, kind of a, you know, uh, an epiphany overnight. It was, you know, so, you know, two or three months went by, you know, August, September, and, you know, I'm thinking to myself, well, maybe I didn't, didn't make the right choice. And, uh, uh, about October or so we, um, we landed our first client and then a couple months later, number two, and then, uh, probably at the end of the year in December timeframe, you know, so we had three, three clients at the time. And, uh, so going into 2008, our goal was to, um, be able to pay the bills. So that was year right. one was, Hey, at least we can, you know, I'm not taking a salary, but, uh, you know, uh, we can pay our bills and, and, uh, my son played hockey at the time. And so, you know, not have a, a, a ton of disruptions. Um, our goal for year two was for me to take a salary. And then year three, um, was for, myself to take a salary and for, for Sue to, uh, to take a salary. So we, we grew organically. And, uh, um, so, uh, you know, we were, we were being able to, to survive along the way. And, you know, I, and I recently went back and I looked at some of the, of the work we did back then and some of the agreements that we had. And I'm like, wow, <laughs> <laughs> I, I wish, I wish I knew then what I do now. Um, and, you know, some of it is, you know, uh, it was embarrassing, but then I think, you know, we were, we were scrappy and, and we were hungry and, and, uh, um, I said, you know, I don't, I don't want to lose that scrappiness and that, that ability to go out and, uh, um, take chances and, and be entrepreneurial. Um, it, it's, and so, uh, uh, if I could put that, you know, kind of that, that magic in a bottle, um, that would be great. It, it uh, so if you, you know, you look forward, you know, now there's, you know, in team jet co there's, there's 22, 23 people. So, um, you know, the, the scrappiness I think is still there, but, you know, I, I'm not sure we would assume the, the same level of risk, uh, nowadays that we would, uh, that we probably would have back then, but, you know, back then it was just, uh, my wife Sue and I, and, uh, and, you know, we started in our house with partner desks and, and she was a fantastic writer still is. And so she would write the proposals and I would do the business development and, um, and, and, and that's how we started. So we didn't take a loan. Um, nobody would give us any money back then. <laughs> I think we started with, with, five thousand dollars with uh fifth third and then uh our neighbor worked at pnc and and you know he said well i can get you to 20 and and uh um but we realized you know we we don't really need um we don't really need that because we'll we'll cash flow this and if, if we can't afford it then we won't uh we won't buy it right right and i think that's I was talking to somebody the other day and, and, uh, and, uh, I told him a story about, you know, early on in our, our Jetco career, M live did a, did a, an article on us and, uh, Oh, his name was Rod, uh, Rod Cackley. And so he comes back, you know, he, 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 uh, showcases six companies he comes back four years later and follows up and, and uh there's one company remaining and that was us we were still in business the other ones had had either been sold or had uh had closed their doors and uh and so you know one of the tenants that we had lived by was if we, you know if, if we can't afford it then 
um, we don't need it. And I was telling, I believe it was our our, uh, our marketing director, and I, I said, you know, um, that's kind of how we how we live by. And uh, and I think many times nowadays entrepreneurs, you know, veterans, you know, they um, love, I, you know. I, I got a business, so I'm, you know, I need to have a car and a computer and a phone, and uh, then they then they try to figure out what they're what they're going to do, and so I kind of look at it in the, in the opposite way of, uh, you know, help your clients be successful, and you know they'll refer you, and and uh, you know for for years I, I drove an old uh, Ford Explorer. And, uh, and finally we were, I, I told my wife, I said, you know, I'm kind of embarrassed <laughs> because it was loud and, uh, and, and, and I, to open the door from the inside, I had to roll down the window and open it from the outside. Oh, wow. And, uh, <laughs> and, the, and, the, I like and I it. said, um, we, uh, I said, I, I'm, you know, I think, you know, our clients want us to be successful, um, but right now, I think we just kind of look, um, we look poor. And I, I, I said, we should at least uh, replace the Explorer because it's it's kind of an eyesore. So we got a, we got a Ford Fusion and, uh-huh. uh, and, and we put 254,000 miles on, on that car over the years. So... 